since my last video on Mongrel, himself and Mr. Savage have moved to NA, he switched to a custom crosshair, and he's changed a few Fortnite settings like edit on release, as well as made some setup changes too. But starting off with his new crosshair, if you want to get it, just open up the Epic Games Store, then type in crosshair, you'll see there's two options. You can choose the free overlay, if it's called crosshair v2, you can see right here it is completely free. However, the customization is quite bare, but it does do the job. Or you can go with the paid overlay called Crosshair X and you can see here this does actually cost however it does look a lot more customizable to be fair. I myself though do recommend the free version as this does do the job and you don't have to pay for it so if you just click on that get button download it then install it and obviously open it up you'll see that a menu appears at the top right of your desktop where you can customize your crosshair to have different sizes different shapes and colors to help you find the best crosshair for yourself and your own preferences but do know this does only seem to work in windowed full screen mode so make sure to select that option in game i myself also like to go into my reticle settings and turn off this option as i just want to see the custom crosshair in game and that's it and after that in game you'll see it actually does work which should benefit you a ton as with your crosshair being the same all the time your aim should be way more consistent and in turn should improve your aim especially when you hip fire as when using the default crosshairs in game you'll notice these changes change from weapon to weapon which can make your aim rather inconsistent and that's why you see many pros prefer the custom crosshair over the default one in game as it's just way more consistent next up we've got his fortnite settings his resolution is 1920 by 1080 he's got his frame rate limit on 360 fps and he's still using performance mode with brightness on 90 percent he's also got his colorblind mode off his view distance is now on epic which allows him to see items at a much further distance his textures are on low and his meshes are on low too. As for his game settings, he's got his toggle sprint on, his auto open doors off, his hold to swap off, his auto pick up weapons are turned on, with sword consumables to the right turned on, disable pre-edits are off, and he's now actually got his auto confirm edits on edit, which he's sort of testing right now and I do believe he's still using it on the current edit setting. As for his hood settings, his reticle is off as he's obviously using a custom crosshair so he does not require this in game. However, his reticle ammo indicator it is turned on he's got damage numbers on list which manually lists out all the damage dealt his reticle damage feedback is on hit only his damage numbers skill is on 72 percent and his hood skill is on 54 percent for his mouse sensitivity this is brand new he's now using x and y on 9.9 percent targeting and scope have been increased to 50 percent with all of these on a mouse dpi of 800 and a mouse pollen rate of 1000 hertz he's also got the default sense i believe in windows along with mouse acceleration disabled as for his keyboard movement he is using custom diagonals with forward on 64 percent strafe on 90 percent and backward diagonal on 122 percent for his audio settings he's got his audio quality on high he's using the visual sound effects and he's not using 3d audio for his key binds he's got his crouch on left control and his reload on the mouse wheel button his use key is on mouse wheel scroll up his harvesting tool is on q his weapon slot 1 is on 2, slot 2 is on E, slot 3 is on R, slot 4 is on 4, and slot 5 is on X. As for his building, his wall is on mouse button 5. His floor shows as N, but it's actually on this button on his mouse. His stairs is on mouse button 4. His roof is on left shift, and his trap is on C. As for the final keybinds, he's got his repair slash upgrade on 1, his rotate building on 5, and his building edit is on F. Next, we've got his mouse, which is the Logitech G4. Or two. For his mouse bungee, that's the Zowie Kamade. His mouse mat, which is the Glorious 3XL. His keyboard, which is the Steel Series Apex Pro in 10 key less. Although he did get given the limited Apex Pro Mini in the white gold edition, which looks like this on screen. It looks pretty sick. I don't believe he uses this for currently. His monitor, I believe, is the BenQ Zowie XL 2566K, which is 360Hz. His new headset is the Beer Dynamic DT 990 Pros. And finally, we've got his PC specs which i assume are all maxed out the cpu will be the i9 14900k graphics card will be the rtx 1490 and i can imagine his ram will be super high end too next up though we've got mongrel's nvidia settings now straight away i recommend using the latest driver it's something epic games themselves recommend simply head into this driver section right here and this is where you'll see the latest game ready driver and what's cool about this nvidia app is if you scroll down to the bottom you can see exactly what's been changed in this latest 
latest driver. You've got what's new, and this obviously changes with every different driver. I mean, you've got my favorite thing, which is what's fixed. This can feature a range of different fixes to crash fixes, bugs, and just so much more. It's just really handy to have. Then you've also got learn more, where you can obviously learn more about the driver. After that, though, if you open up the NVIDIA app, which is currently still in beta, head over to the graphics section, then select the game of choice. Obviously, we're going to use this one. Now, you can press this button here to optimize it, but I don't like to do this. Instead, I go in the global settings and I customize it like this on screen. As you can see, I've got the RTX dynamic vibrance off. I've got image scaling off. I've got low latency mode on on currently, although you can use ultra if you want lower latency. Max frame rate, I've got off. Monitor technology, I use G-Sync. You should too if you've actually got it on your monitors like technology. If not, just click fixed refresh. Power management, I currently have this on normal as it works best on my PC, but if you do want more FPS, you might find that prefer maximum performance will be better for you. And for the rest of the settings, I've got them just like this on screen. Next, you want to head into the NVIDIA control panel, go into manage 3D settings, and you want to copy all of my settings that are set up in this video on screen in the manage 3D section. Then finally, go into adjust desktop size and position, select your main game and monitor, then select full screen and make sure a GPU is selected with the highest refresh rate possible. Next from that, I want to cover the best Epic Games launcher settings. You want to head to the top right into the settings, then scroll down to where it says desktop notifications and simply disable show free games and show news and special offers, as these can cause FPS stutters when they're pushed out, so it's best to disable both of them. After that, you can scroll down slightly and open up Fortnite. You can tick the additional command line box and you can put in these three different commands if you'd like. Although I have heard that they don't actually do anything this season, but I like to just try them anyway. Next, in the library where you see Fortnite, click on it and then go into the options. And inside here, you want to uncheck high res textures for a slight FPS boost. You want to uncheck DirectX 12 shaders as we're going to use performance mode. And I also recommend using the pre-downloaded stream assets as this can help you big time with ping. You can also go into the Epic Games Launcher folder on Windows inside that engine file right there and actually paste in this command that I'll have in the description below. And what this does is it increases your download speeds on the Epic Games launcher so you'll download game updates way faster than before. And to finish this off, I'll chuck in his network settings too. Straight away, you want to update your network drivers to make sure these are the latest ones available. Then want to go into your network settings and basically set them up like I've got on screen. These are essentially the best network settings you can use. Just make sure to copy one for one what I'm using on screen right now. After that, you can use the lowest ping DNS server which Epic Games themselves recommend. Just go into your network settings as shown on screen then in the DNS section where you put the address you can put in a custom one and to find out which one is the best one for you you can use DNS benchmark or you can type in this command on screen inside the CMD. And that right there is all of Mongrel's updated settings. Before you go feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.